Hey everybody, the cameraman here. Today is Friday, July 1st. It's 6.53 p.m. I'm waiting for Buena Park Police Department to start their DUI and driver's license checkpoint at the intersection of Beach Boulevard and Stanton Avenue. And I've just gotten here and already the sidewalk is closed off. Like I said in my uh, roll call video, it is the 4th of July weekend. There's a lot of traffic coming. As you can see, this is just an example of all the traffic, all the people leaving town, traveling for uh, the holiday weekend, and they're gonna come through this checkpoint. They're gonna get it down to about one lane, and that's gonna slow everything down. And you can see just how many cars there that is traveling down Beach Boulevard. Also to note, Beach Boulevard is State Road 39. It's also a trucking route. And we're gonna come to a slow crawl, get down to one lane about here, and there's going to be a massive backup. I can already see it now to the light down there because we have a lot of people traveling. Ladies tonight. and gentlemen, this guy just found the loophole. All he had to do was walk on that side, so technically he did not cross the police line. He, w he just went around it. Alright, we have another corporal on a scene tonight. They're starting the checkpoint now. Getting, getting my yellow visibility vest on. Oh, he's getting his yellow vest on too. Okay, everybody, there's a sergeant, uh, it's a Wen, I believe it's pronounced. He's the, he's the head starch on duty tonight. And he's, he's the one in charge of the checkpoint. And so let's see what his attitude is tonight. There's uh, Corporal, Corporal Plumley. He was all upset last time that I, uh, Crossed his uh, his um, police tape. Okay. Oh God, did you did you see this? I want you to take good look at this. And he didn't like that. There's a Sergeant Wen. Hey guys, how's it going tonight? Remember me from, were you at the last checkpoint? Remember me? I'm the cameraman. Which one of you told me I had a cheap mask? Cheap mask, cameraman. Well, 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 I, I, you know, cheap mask or whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if I wear a mask or not. They, they already know what my face looks like. So just to let you know. Oh, please. You, you, come on, you guys seen my videos. You know, I did, I went down to your guys' office and I spoke with the owner. Though, watch out for that video. Yeah! Yeah, just watch for the video. But, if you, if you find out who told me I had a cheap mask, tell him the cameraman says hi. Again, we have cadets out from uh, Explore Post 474, uh, again. And something I'd like to note, all these cadets you see out here are not getting paid. They're not getting anything. This is all volunteer work. So basically, what this is, is free labor. 
free rights violating labor. You guys getting paid tonight to do this? Is this is this what volunteering and serving the community is all about? Right now, like I said, all down the one lane, we have tons of people trying to leave. It's 4th of July weekend, trying to get out of town, and it's causing a backup. We're all down to one lane. A three lane, let's see, one, two, three, four lanes of traffic down to one. And so, basically, it's uh, show your papers, and you're free to go. But here's, here's the kicker. Now, the city of Buena Park, does not start, the city limits do not start until that light pole down there. Because once you cross that light pole, then you're in the city of Anaheim. And, and Beach Boulevard is uh, State Road 39, which is one of the major roads leading into uh, Buena Park. So it is kind of like uh, East and West Germany. So basically, you can't enter Buena Park until you show your papers. So it is kind of no different from the Checkpoint Charlie that they had during uh, the Cold War when they had the Berlin Wall dividing uh, East and West Germany. But nowadays it's cones and, and uh, police tape that will separate you from the city and where you're trying to go. As I made my way over to secondary, I noticed this sign I've never seen at any other Buena Park DUI checkpoint I've attended up until this point. Remember, this is the checkpoint after the tape crossing incident with time to stand. After that incident, they've started using this sign. Coincidence? I think not. So this doesn't look good. We have a guy over here. He stopped in secondary. They just opened up his car door. And I don't I don't know what why he stopped. They have appears two occupants in the vehicle. Or possibly three actually three occupants in the vehicle. Because I'm we're missing two two passengers. And there's one driver in the uh, not a driver, but a female in the back there. And I don't know what they're having issue with. We have a driver. Possibly the driver just over there. Um, one of the issues, I, I'm not sure on the vehicle code, but possibly one of the issues that they may have stopped them and moved them into secondary for is maybe because of that decal. I'm not sure, but California has so many ridiculous vehicle codes and regulations. I wouldn't be surprised if there is something regarding uh, decals on the side of your vehicle. And looks like we have one individual now. He's been made to pop his trunk. They're gonna do an inspection. I know it's 4th of July weekend, so they possibly could be looking for illegal fireworks, some um, explosives, anything that's not safe and sane. Again, all he had to say is, I don't consent to any searches, because odds are they may not even have probable cause to have stopped him in the first place. But now he's appeared to have gotten back into his vehicle after being made to show what he had in the contents of his trunk. So basically a stop and inspection. So that's kind of like a TSA, I call it a TSA stop. So you know how you like you go through the, the security checkpoint at the airport, you put your things in the thing, they look through it, then they send it through the machine. Well that's kind of like it, they look through it, but they didn't send it through an x-ray machine. But, but who's to say eventually at these checkpoints that won't become a thing? They may actually have a full-sized car x-ray scanners. Well, I've been, uh, I've been uh, filming for a good 10, 10, 12, I think about 20 minutes now. I think I'm going to walk up the street now and uh, let, let drivers know about this checkpoint. Hey, aren't those fireworks illegal? Isn't that illegal? Are you gonna enforce that? They're not supposed to shoot off fireworks until the 4th of July. Where's the enforcement? Those are illegal fireworks. Sergeant uh, Wen this time seems to be on a uh, traffic duty and not on his bike. He seems to be more tactical and a hands-on approach tonight doing some actual uh, 
traffic direct directing and uh, police work. When uh, last last checkpoint I was at, he um, he was mostly on his bike the entire time. So glad to see he's uh, putting in an effort tonight. All righty, everybody. I'm about to enter phase two of the operation in my counter operation because uh, somebody in the comments says I have an agenda. Well, well, in that case, then this is my counter operation. I have this uh, police checkpoint ahead sign, and uh, they're not actually, they don't actually have any officers over behind uh, the bushes down there on Stanton Avenue like they did last time. Doesn't it, doesn't it say in your policy that you have to be seen? You can't be hiding like that, sir? You have to be seen to the public to know you're there. That's what you call lying in wait. Why are you lying in wait, sir? So this is great. Now that I'm standing here with a sign letting people know, tons and tons of cars are now detouring down Stanton. And I'm doing, I'm doing some, somewhat of a cut in traffic flow going through that checkpoint. Everybody is now detouring down Stanton that now I'm now that I'm notifying people ahead of time that there is a checkpoint. Don't give up your license. Detour at Stanton if you don't want to go through the checkpoint. So I just had two Buena Park PD officers in the lane over there before they I was they took off before I was able to uh, to start recording. But they were looking at me and say, look at this guy. And I told them, uh, Sergeant Wen said, whatever, I can do whatever I can as long as I don't amplify my noise past 10 o'clock. You can't amplify your noise. If you want to yell, oh, what? you want to yell, scream, do whatever you can, that's totally up to you. And he laughed his ass off. No joke. He started laughing as soon as he drove away. He thought it was hilarious. We have an emergency vehicle approaching the checkpoint. Unless they get into the opposite lane of traffic, they're screwed. So let's see how this fire truck avoids the checkpoint. See how dangerous that is? He has to go into oncoming traffic. Thank God those firefighters have lights and sirens because now they had to go into oncoming traffic to avoid the checkpoint. To avoid the checkpoint, take Stanton. To avoid the checkpoint, take Stanton. If you have an emergency call to get around the checkpoint, The checkpoint. See, Thanks look at him. that. I gave that ambulance driver fair warning, he, and he saw my sign too. But yet, he waited to the last minute to cut on his emergency lights to take Stanton. I told him if he had an emergency call, to just avoid, take, Stanton. take Stanton. To avoid the checkpoint, take Stanton. Once you get past that slow sign, there's no turning back. To avoid the checkpoint, take Stanton Avenue. To avoid the checkpoint. Take Stanton. To avoid the checkpoint, take Stanton. There's still time to turn. Once you get past that slow sign, there's no turning back. There's cars. We've been able to cut this down quite a bit. We used to, we, at one point, we had the cars. They were starting to back up to the light here. But now that I'm up here with the sign, and more cars are detouring down Stanton, there it's, there, I'm creating less of a backup. So let's look at secondary over here. Empty, completely empty. Not a single car in secondary. Can you believe it? All thanks to my sign. Not a single person. Hey officer, quick question. Have you caught anybody intoxicated this evening? It should be a simple question. Yes or no? All you have to do is say yes or no. It's a simple question. Have you cap caught anyone driving under the influence? Is your checkpoint working? You just gonna give me the cold shoulder? Come on, it's the simplest yes or no question. It should be easy. If you want people to know that you're catching drunks, why not say so? See, she doesn't want to say she's caught anybody because she can't, because they haven't caught anybody. 
but this is her opportunity to correct me right now and prove that I'm wrong by saying they haven't caught anybody drinking and driving. This is her opportunity, but yet she doesn't want to correct me, so I'm going to have to assume that they haven't caught a single person tonight, and I've been out here for three hours, and they have not caught a single drunk person. This is her time to correct me if I'm, if I'm giving false information to my viewers. But, so I'm going to have to assume that they haven't caught anybody. I'm pretty sure they've ticketed and uh, cited people for other things unrelated to drinking and driving. But it doesn't appear that they've caught any drunks. Okay. So, I'm approaching right now the tow truck. They just towed this guy on a motorcycle for uh, going around the checkpoint. I gave him fair warning. Unfortunately, this driver of the motorcycle decided to make a U-turn already when he got past the, uh, the sign and the cones. So what they had Corporal Plumley do is haul ass after him and pull him over. And so this guy's 4th of July weekend is completely fucked. Now, thanks to Corporal Plummy. He's already got two citations, it appears. So he's either. So he's. He's. I'm assuming that he's probably being charged with something along the lines of avoiding the checkpoint. Giving his license back. So can I can I get an interview real quick? So what did they stop you tonight for? Okay, and what is, what are they, what are the charges they have? Well, this is out in public. It's publicly aware. Yeah, yeah. But, but here's the question. Do you, do you let these drivers know? Don't they have the right to know that they don't have to take the field sobriety test? They don't have to answer any questions? You, they don't. You don't. So, so don't start that. And, and now I have to, I have to talk now over you. Because the last two times, any time I try to talk to you, you, you do your little part and then you run away. So I have to talk over you. You too, Corporal Plumley. You too. Ladies and gentlemen, Corporal Plumley of the Buena Park Police Department. Protecting and serving the community of Buena Park and the county of Orange County, California. This guy was definitely drunk, and we, we made sure to teach him a, a, good, a good lesson. So, remember ladies and gentlemen, always check your local police department's websites for when they post these DUI checkpoints. And when you get to these DUI checkpoints, don't answer any questions. Don't, don't even provide your license, unless, unless you're absolutely required, and they provide probable cause of a crime you're committing because you could be like this guy. You could end up with your uh, motorcycle towed. It's gonna probably cost, if, if these guys have a towing permit with California Highway Patrol, it's gonna cost between anywhere of $150 to $250 to get his vehicle out of impound. On top of court fees, uh, the tickets that he received for avoiding the checkpoint. So we're looking upwards, um, let's see, he goes to court, that's if that's if Corporal Plummy doesn't bother to show, they might drop the case. But I highly doubt that, especially the cameraman's involved. He won't let this go. But um, if he doesn't show up, they could drop his case, but I don't see that happening. So he looks like he's going to be shelling out some bills 
to the Buena Park Police Department for their kind service. And he's going to probably be shelling out some money to the towing company over here. It's either Cypress Auto Tow or Brookhurst Auto Towing. Uh, those are one of the companies that the uh, Buena Park Police like to use to tow uh, vehicles for them at these DUI checkpoints. And so, right now we're still we're still in the city of Buena Park. This is on Crescent and uh, Stanton right here, and off they go back to the uh, checkpoint. And there goes Corporal Plummy on his bike. Ooh, look at him go! Whee! It looks like so so much fun to ride one of these motorcycles. But unfortunately, this guy's fun has come to a complete halt, thanks to Corporal Plummy and the great service provided by the Buena Park Police Department. Remember, folks, don't go through the checkpoint. It never it never ends good. Trust me, it's it's not worth it.